Good day everyone, my name is Alex and welcome to a new review. Today I have a very cheap, very small LED projector. This one is called the YG310. So it costs under $40, but is it worth it? Well, let's find out. Because the projector is so small, the box is also pretty small. So on the front of the box we see a picture of the projector and onto the sides of the box we find some specifications about the projector itself. You're gonna notice that the resolution is 320 by 240, so not the highest um, resolution out there. Inside the box we find the remote control. The remote control looks a lot like a remote control that you'd find on an Apple TV, so that's a good thing because it does look really really good. It takes two AAA batteries and you always have to point the remote control towards the back of the projector in order for it to work. Aside from that, we find the user manual. So the user manual has a lot of pictures and if you don't know how to use this projector it will be very useful. Next in the box you're gonna see the power adapter. So the power adapter it's easy to use, you just plug it in and plug it in the projector and uh, then it works. But this projector actually can work with a power bank. So you can just plug in a power bank because we have a micro USB port there. And yes, the projector can work uh, from a power bank and uh, you don't always have to have it plugged in uh, to the wall for example. So it's a good thing because if you're outside uh, and you don't have a power outlet anywhere next to you, you can just use a power bank. So very useful. And aside from that we get an AV cable. Now onto the projector. So even though it costs under $40 and it's made out of plastic, I have to say that it doesn't feel cheap. It looks rather good in my opinion. So on the front of the projector we see the brand name and the lens. So you can focus that uh, lens, we have a little wheel onto the left hand side of the projector. So you can focus the image uh, depending how far you are from um, the screen or the wall or uh, whatever you are projecting on. And since I'm talking about the projection, the power output of this projector is about 600 to 800 lumens. So not the brightest. That means that uh, if it is pretty bright in the room that uh, you're using the projector, you're not going to be able to see that well. So what I'm showing you now is uh, with some light in the room. So you can probably tell that you can't see the image that well. So this is uh, to be expected with the projector this cheap. On top of the projector you're gonna see a few buttons, so you can either use these buttons or the buttons on the remote control, they all uh, work the same and they do the exact same thing. On to the left hand side of the projector you're gonna see the power adapter port, so you can plug in uh, the power adapter there. And we also see a little switch, there, an on off switch. Now that on off switch is for the projectors that come with a battery inside, because supposedly this model has... Uh, one that comes with a battery inside the 1500 milliamp battery. However, I wasn't able to get uh, that going onto this projector, so I believe I have a model without the battery. That's um, disappointing, but uh, yeah, I wasn't able to get uh, that going. Aside from that, we find uh, some holes so the projector doesn't uh, overheat the HDMI input and the USB port. Into the USB port there you can basically plug in a USB stick uh, with movies or if you have any software updates, uh, yeah, you would plug them in into that uh, USB port. On the back of the projector we are going to find more holes so the projector doesn't overheat uh, and we also have a speaker then and uh, yes the speaker does get quite loud and uh, you're going to be able to hear the speaker later on uh, when I have this plugged in and uh, projecting onto the wall. Aside from that we have the IR uh, sensor so uh, where you would point the remote control uh, to control the projector. We have a slot for an SD card, the AV port and uh, also the 3.5mm audio jack. Now you're gonna see that uh, we also have uh, a micro USB port. So into that micro USB port you can uh, basically plug in a phone charger or a, a battery pack, anything like that. So uh, the projector can work uh, from a battery pack and a phone charger or anything like that. So that's like a secondary thing uh, if you don't have the power adapter uh, handy. And lastly at the bottom of the projector we have four rubber feet and the spot there where you can actually put the projector onto a tripod. So I think this is a really really good thing because it's so much easier to have the projector onto a tripod and uh, finding like a spot for it or so on. So it's very very easy and convenient to use the projector on a tripod and uh, I did use it quite, uh, quite a bit sitting on a tripod because it's just so much easier uh, to do than just finding a spot for it. Now that we took a closer look at the projector, I'm gonna go downstairs where it's nice and dark. I'm gonna plug this in. Um, we'll have a couple of uh, files playing from a USB stick. I'm gonna connect a TV box to it. 
and we'll see how well the speaker does um, as well. So we do have a fan inside the projector. It's not that uh, loud, so it's not really gonna bother you. And the speaker uh, that comes with this projector, it's uh, quite loud, so the fan shouldn't be a problem at all. All right, so let's go downstairs and uh, check this out. All right, so I have the projector on the camera sitting right behind the projector. I'm about three meters away from the wall, so not that far. However, I wanted the resolution to be the best um, for the recording. So let's uh, start by pressing the menu button. So this is the menu for uh, the projector. Here you can change uh, a couple of settings for the picture. So you can go left, right uh, and choose uh, any of these settings. Uh, let's go back to the settings app so we can uh, change the colors temperature we can change the aspect ratio uh, depending on what's connected to the projector you can change more of uh, these things but for this particular uh, time we can only change 4x3 or auto so we can't really change anything there i do have a tv box connected to the projector and i'll show you how that uh, works uh, a bit later Going down, we have a noise reduction, and if you wanna switch, uh, flip the screen basically. So that's about it for that uh, settings. Here at sound, uh, we can change a couple of uh, things. So the mode here, uh, depending on what you're gonna be watching, listening to, you can uh, change that. Let me go back to the menu, the sounds here. Um, supposedly it has surround sound however i highly highly doubt it and i don't have anything to try it um, out with so yeah i highly doubt it that um, this projector uh, actually will have surround sound okay so um, here we can change the time so that's about it for the time and um, here you can do a software update so you'd uh, put a software update onto a usb stick at languages we have a couple of languages that we can choose from so these are all the languages uh, available so i'm gonna leave it to english we'll go back once and then back to the menu here so these are uh, all the settings that uh, we have onto this uh, box so i have a usb stick connected to the projector is the same usb stick that um, i use for tv boxes so we do have a 1080p file in there. Let's see if uh, this will work. So this is the 1080p file. And uh, the speaker is at the maximum volume at this particular time. We'll see how well uh, this does. And it's quite loud. So I uh, dropped the volume uh, because it was just crazy loud. And as you can probably tell, uh, it does uh, does look uh, rather good uh, onto the wall there. So better than I was expecting. So uh, it looks like a 1080p file uh, does uh, does seem to work okay. Uh, let's see if we can skip a bit fast forward. Let's see if we can fast forward a bit. So let's fast forward uh, a bit more. Okay, so let's uh, so it doesn't uh, go totally totally smooth, but um, I think it is uh, rather acceptable uh, for uh, this type of uh, projector. Okay, so let's um, exit this and let's try a 720p file because I have a 720p file here as well. Let's see if this one uh, does any good. So as you've heard before, the speaker is uh, quite loud. I mean, it's probably louder than uh, the speaker on a bigger projector. Let's see how well uh, this one does. Oh no, and I got the black screen. So um, I guess the 720p file uh, didn't do that great. So uh, now the projector is kind of frozen. Nothing is happening anymore. I can press buttons uh, on the remote, but nothing is happening. So we'll uh, do a reset and uh, we'll get uh, right back. Okay, so we are back. Uh, yeah, I guess uh, the projector froze. It couldn't uh, decode that. 
So let's uh, switch to the HDMI mode. So if I press this button here, uh, we can switch to the HDMI mode. And uh, I do have a TV box connected uh, through the HDMI. Let's, uh, let's see what's happening with the TV box. So uh, this is the TV box right here. Unfortunately, um, it doesn't look that uh, great. Like the resolution doesn't uh, look that uh, amazing. However, I do have um, a couple of uh, files here onto the USB stick. So let's uh, open this. Let's open the USB stick from here and uh, let's play a file from here, I guess. I can't even see what I'm playing, so the resolution is not uh, not great uh, by any means. So let's try that file, whatever that uh, file is. Just trying to play something. Oh, I chose the exact same file <laughs> from before, that's funny. So let's choose maybe this one now. Uh, this one I think it's that 4K file uh, with the flower. So this is playing from the TV box through the HDMI. So uh, this is how it looks. And yeah, I think it's uh, rather decent. I mean, uh, if you do all the media through a TV box, you shouldn't have uh, any issues uh, whatsoever. I mean, the projector is not gonna have the power to decode the uh, big files uh, anyway so if you have like a small movie it uh, could be useful if you don't uh, yeah i don't think it's gonna it's gonna be do that good so the speaker uh, on it it's uh, rather okay oh look this uh, this file actually works on this uh, tv box so as i was saying the speaker on it it's quite okay i mean for a small space uh, it does seem to look fairly good i mean the resolution is not the absolute best but it is uh, pretty good for like 35 bucks as much as um, this projector costs hopefully you guys enjoyed the, the video if you do have any questions please uh, leave a comment down below don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you in the next one thanks for watching guys